So, no it is not. It's not a fan, however, it's RAM or memory for the computer. So I got some more memory. I already have 32 gigabytes of 7200 megahertz and this is another 32 gigabytes of 7200 megahertz which gives me now a maximum of 64 gigabytes of 7200 megahertz on the RAM for the computer. So I'm gonna put this in. Also, I got an up-to-date video card, external video card that I'm gonna be putting in there. I'll be doing that tomorrow. So that video will be for tomorrow. But we're just gonna do this for now. I'll show you what it looks like once it's in there. Let me show you the RAM now. So this is the RAM right here. And it is the, uh, that's the brand name right there. Yep. Okay. So you all this stuff gives you some more information on the back. All that good stuff right there. Camera is doing a freak show, won't allow me to show it up front. But yeah, G Skills is a good brand. This is DDR5, 3200 of 7,200 megahertz. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the computer and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's in there. Hold on. Right, let's see what we got and see what this thing does. Is it gonna freak out because it got more memory or what? Oh, it shouldn't. Let's see what it's gonna do. Yep, there go all four of them. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what's going on here. There we go, all four memories, just like before. I guess I gotta put the monitor back on. I'm not gonna show crap unless I do that. There we go. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is doing. It should recognize it. Everything is set back to default settings. I don't think it'll freak out over more memory, unless it's bad memory and it's not. So we shouldn't have no problem at all. It's just recognizing that it's 64 gigabytes of memory. Yeah, there we go. Got some action going on now. And I'm gonna put the video card in here tomorrow, so I'll have a video of that. Not really showing me physically installing it, but I will show the video card before I install it and afterwards. With the monitor installed and make sure that it comes up and it works and all that stuff, so. The video card I'm using right now is the built-in video card that's built into the motherboard, which is pretty good as well. It's also 4K compatible. So yeah, there's that really cool RAM right there, y'all. I like the LEDs on that, the, or whatever you call it, the uh, RGB lighting. Yeah, pretty cool. Looks like we're running into a stinking problem. Uh, or it could just be doing something, trying to recognize the memory. It says something about press F1 to run setup, press F2 to roll default value and continue, F2. Did I press F2 or not? Yeah, I pressed up too. Wow, look at that. Ice and blue, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's that Windows logo in Royal Blue. All right, so that's coming up. Lots of blue with different colors. Blue is my favorite color. There you go. No matter what shade of blue it is. It's pretty cool RAM right there. The video part. All right, whatever free show that was. Wow, <laughs> what a free show. My phone, my 15 Pro Max just fell. All right, so let's go back over here. It's always a free show in the studio. Let's go back over here and see what we got. Yep, here we go. So let's see if we can log in. Turn you guys away. Don't want you to see that. Go back. Now one of the surest ways you can tell that it has it, you go here, you go to property, you go here, and it should say 64. Now it says 64 gigabytes. Gigabytes of, I believe it's, what is it? Oh, 63.1 gigabytes are usable. Anyway, so that's just how it reads. But it's there, guys. So yeah, the memory is there. It recognized it. Everything is all good in the hood. And uh, yeah. So tomorrow, I have a video of the, uh, the graphics card or the video card. I'll do that tomorrow. And then I'll install it. So I'll save that for tomorrow. I'm still working on getting some upgrades for it. Pretty soon I'm going to have the water cooling. So this uh, CPU setup right here that he's thinking all that's going to be out. 
and I might have the water cooling with a radiator or a condenser will be on the back. And then, you know, the built-in water and that part's gonna go over the CPU. That's gonna look so cool. My nephew's gonna do that. Then I'm gonna have a brand new SSD card that's much faster, one terabyte for just the operating system only. And that's gonna go on the board real soon. So yeah, I'm still working on some upgrades. This thing is still being upgraded. Been working on this upgrade ever since 2019. Good Lord. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remind the fam man and out.